All right, looking from the top, let's press Shift A, Mesh Plane, Scale in the X. All right, there's our. Let's scale that in the Y a little bit. Okay, let's extrude up. Select this bottom face S to scale a little bit. Select the top, press I to inset and pull it in to make the borders. Let's extrude down now. Okay. Put a edge loop in here. I'm going to pull that up just a little bit another edge loop this one's not straight so let's go sy0 pull it down a little ways here and now what we can do is select this edge this face that face and that one and maybe a bit more than that so let's grab this edge and slide it down and now grab those pull it up Click this edge, and this edge, this one, and this one. Control B to bevel, pull, and have about five segments in total in there. Let's go around and select all of the bottom edges, making sure we get everything. Don't forget these pieces here. Control B and pull, we can have the same number of segments. Come back up to the top, get the entire inside and the outside and even this one. Well, maybe we'll do that one last. Okay, control B. Let's take that one. Oh, let's make sure we got the whole thing. Okay. Control B, and let's grab these ones here, and Control B. Okay, now, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we'll shade smooth and it'll look a little funny. So let's go over to the modifiers, add a bevel. I might just leave it at one default values. Let's switch this to angle, add weighted normal, and under normals, auto smooth. I just want to have a look at this. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's let's in face selection, let's press C for paint select, I believe it is. And select all that and shift D. To duplicate it, pull it up, press P, separate by selection. So we have this object, which was the bottom. We can use this to make the grill part. And we'll come in here, press 2 for edge selection, and hold down Shift and just click all of these. And we're going to get rid of these. Just X and, and dissolve edges, or just delete them. Press 1 for um, vertex selection. You can see. It's a big end gone, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take a moment here to join these. I'm going to select this is this vertex and this one, and press J, not F, to make a face. J, this one, 
and this one. And this one. And we'll turn this into quads. This one and this one. So now we can put edge loops in here and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna press the slash key just to focus on that, and I'm gonna save. And let's have a look at this and think about this. So I want to get one, just two. I want four sections, but I want two of these lines in there. Let me think about this for a second now. So if I want four sections, I gotta do that, right? Let's just throw those in for a second. Two for edge selection. So one, two, three, four sections. These two, I want something to happen and then I want those things in between and that area is going to be this thing here so I want just two and then I want those so okay well, I guess we can just go ahead and take these and what I was thinking we would do for this is um, what we want is these things to come up and kind of angle in Alright, see so it comes up and then it angles in. So what I was thinking we could do is uh, first of all control B, roll my mouse back to zero. So have a little space like that. And then put one more like that. Okay. And then grab this one and this one. Just turn to the side a bit. And pull it up like that. And um, we'll come over to the bevel and put a few more segments in it so it looks like that. And that might be okay. I just want to try Control B, roll my mouse back to zero, and see if I want to do it like that. Split it and have it like that. And I think I possibly do. I want it a bit rounded and a bit and a bit not rounded, if that makes sense. Now. Good. I've got that line. I was hoping I had that. I'm going to need that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an edge loop here. Uh, and I need it a about three quarters of the way up. or a little past this, this part where it drops off. So I have to come back and look at everything. Alright, so let's do that. Let's use this as a guide. I put it about there. Looking from here. It's not going to be exact. Uh, I'll make sure I have enough room. Just need a dial there, and these things be in that area. I think I'm okay. So that would delineate where that is, and then, and then I need the whole. So there, here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for nine. I don't think there's ten. Okay, so nine, right? Um, geez, how many do I need then? One, two, that makes three, that makes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces. I think. Let's do it again. Four spaces. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Click. Let's straighten these out. S Y zero. Let's just go through and do all those. select all these individual places and that's one two three four five six seven eight I'll come down to the bottom one there so I'm in face selection and I'm selecting all of these faces here right because I want three sections of these And now what we'll do is I'm going to press I and then I again and then hold shift 
hold them just a little bit like that. Now you're going to press 1 for vertex selection. And I'm going to bevel these a little bit. Shift Control B and pull. And let's see if I can do this. Roll my mouse up. I'm going to get that. I get a lot of stuff going in there. Not sure that I want to do it this way. Let me deselect and look. Yeah, I think we can do it that way. Okay, let's select all of these regions now. Okay, X, delete faces. All right. Let's take this and extrude it downwards, like that. All right. And let's, uh, first of all, let's press SZ0 to straighten it out. And I'm probably going to delete that. Let's go X faces. Have a look at this. Let's take this and pull this down now. Start to get a sense of this. I might want to consider selecting all these bottom edges. I'm holding Shift and Alt, clicking, and I'll double check that I've got what I need. Let's have a look down here. Selecting the bottoms. I just want to make sure I've got every one of them. And then what I was thinking is looking from the top and switch to individual origins. Well, SX, pull them in sort of like that. SY, pull them in like this. To do that. Okay. Let's try ARC, Let's see if that does anything for us. Let's bring that back. Let's now switch over to the cavity shader. All right. This is what we have. Okay. Let's come in here and use this in face selection. Let's press C. Let's get all of this stuff here. I can probably just do it like that. Let's shift D, pull it up, P to break it out, and have a look at this piece here. If I select the outer edge, if I can get just the outer edge. Oh, do I have something else? I have something else here. Let's delete those faces. Okay. Back to the outer edge. Let's see. Do I have just the... No, I have no. I got the wrong one. That outer edge. I was thinking of going control I. And that will select all the other edges and X dissolve edges. Oh, did I lose my curvature? Yeah, I lose my curvature. Okay. Select these ones then. And dissolve edges. So we still have the curvature. I actually want a little bit more curvature on these. So I'm going to select those vertices and shift control B as Paul. Just get some curve going on there. So, OK. 
Okay, let's extrude this down and I can actually get rid of that face. And now, I'm not gonna really be able to bevel this, I don't think. Get that whole top. Yeah, I should be able to bevel out. Okay, control B, pull down like this. And it's a little bit smaller so let's uh let's go back to median point let's just scale in the x a little bit and scale it in the y a little bit so it sort of looks like it fits in there we can see a bit of a space yeah it caused some overlap as you can see so you know what i'm just actually going to uh Extrude out to here and delete those faces and then shift alt and click F to make a face. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't get rid of all of them today. Okay, you're doing crazy stuff tonight. Let's get rid of that. And that. Okay. We get rid of all these faces here. make face and with that face selected just control B I can get a nicer bevel on there just again watch it out they don't cross and also making sure we get rid of everything so here uh, I'm going to focus just on that and fix this up I'm making a lot of mistakes today cool there we go let's bring in a cube from the bottom, scale it down. I'm going to scale this in the Y. In face selection, I'm going to delete that face and grab that and pull it in. I'm going to S to scale. Let's do something real simple like that. Okay. Select these vertical edges here control B and then this one here control B I can shake smooth on that and if it looks odd uh, let's just try weighted normal and that. okay let's take that and pull it in My 3D cursor is there, so set the origin to the 3D cursor. Come over here and click mirror. I'll try in the Y as well. It's pretty good. Those could be my legs. Okay, let's try this. You can see that that's flipped, so Alt N, recalculate outside. And now let's put the shadow on and get rid of this stuff and then just quickly switch over to a matte cap. And um, I like to use this one just to test how it looks. Okay, so that's what we have so far compared to this. We we'll put some dials on there and we'll model the rest of, of the stuff, uh, I think, in the next video. Cool. All right. See you then.